Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today, me and a, a few of the friends, we went to uh, Richmond, hit a comic book shop, a couple other places, hit it to Charlottesville, uh, hit a shop, a couple other places, and uh, I picked up a few things today, so that's exciting. <laughs> uh, well, let's start with some baseball cards and then jump into the comic book action. Uh, my friend Ricky, he uh, bought um, some comics, and this guy had a couple of sets of baseball cards. And from what Ricky was telling me, he just threw in these two sets of baseball cards. Ricky doesn't care about baseball cards. So he was like, hey, man, if you want them, they're yours. I'm like, cool, cool. Uh, and he picked up a Fleer baseball set. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, 1987 Fleer baseball set, which will have uh, Barry Bonds, uh, Bo Jackson, and a few others, rookie cards in them. Um, they're not like big money by any stretch because they were just so massively produced this year, but still really, really cool. Thanks, Ricky. And also an 87 Tops factory set. So uh, that was really, really cool. Ricky, I appreciate that, man. Uh, you didn't have to hook me up with them, but that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Again, the, the top set also had the, the Bo Jackson and um, uh, Barry Bonds rookies in them. But again, they just, just don't carry much money just because of the mass production that they had those years. But still, really, really awesome. Really awesome. Now... All the comic books and comic goodness that I picked up today. Uh, I'm going to start with this just because it was still in the, in the bag from way back when. It is, glasses off so I can see everything. <laughs> it is wizard number 142. And I just saw this and it was only 99 cents. They had a box of them, but this is the only one that was still bagged. And I was like, this is cool. Because it still has the old AOL disc, America Online. And it has a card of Jennifer Connolly in it. And it was funny because earlier in the day, we had been talking about Jennifer Connolly. And I just thought that's, that's hilarious. So that was awesome. That was awesome. I, I love getting the old wizards. Uh, it's one of those things, one of these days I may go back, and if they have that box of Wizards for 99 cents a piece, I may just say, you know what, I'm just going to take the whole box of them. <laughs> so, uh, that was pretty cool. Now, uh, the comics I picked up down in, um, down in Richmond, some comics, some books, and a couple of things that I'm kind of like, did I really buy those? I did buy those, didn't I? <laughs> uh, we're going to start with uh, this right here. This is Hypno Magazine. Uh, does it have an issue? Um, volume 3, number 3 slash 4. And I bought this just because... Uh, we got Brandon Lee on the cover. I was like, heck yeah. Uh, such a huge fan of Brandon and the Crow. I absolutely love it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Why not? Why not grab that? The Exotic Cocktail of Music, Art, and the... Did I say world? Yeah, and the world. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this next because I thought this is kind of cool. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street number one. Uh, the art on it is absolutely amazing uh, from Innovation Comics. I don't think this is the first uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't think, but I know this is very early. But the artwork on that cover I thought was amazing. So, yeah, that looks great. He may have actually had the whole set of them, but I just didn't want to pay that much for the whole set. And 
that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. And this is something that is pretty, I'm not going to say rare, but something I just don't see. And when you see the prices on them, again, this is this is not what uh, what I paid for them. Uh, he hooked us up with some great deals on everything. So, yeah. This is The Matrix. It is a promo comic. Looks amazing. It's a 16-page promotional comic. You just don't see this. Yeah, and, I, and today was kind of a, you know, some things that I picked up, you just don't see. So I was like, okay, I will grab that. Which I think is really, really cool. So definitely had to pick that up. Uh, let's go with... Uh, let's go with this next. Hey, you know what, let's go with this next. Then we'll get to those. This is something that not only do I not see, I don't think I have ever seen this. Even back in the day, uh, for those that are a certain age, you will remember laser discs. And it's been a long time, and I just don't remember them being out very long, the laser disc market, because I remember it went to VHS very fast, and then later DVD. But I remember laser disc was in there somewhere. I don't remember the time period, but I remember in the probably the, the early mid eighties or maybe mid late eighties, something like that. But he had this, uh, these two things that I picked up. He had spawn and he had it for $5. And I was like, that is so cool. This is something that you just don't see anywhere. And there, there could be a reason why you don't see it anywhere because no one has laser discs anymore. But I was like, that is so cool. I mean, it's so rare. It's just something, like I say, you don't find. And the laser disc does look like an old, an old music record. Like, a, it's, it looks like a compact disc is what it looks like. Like a, a gigantic DVD. And I was just like, I need that in my life for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I was very happy to pick that up and add it to the collection. Because the movie itself, I really thought that was a really, really good movie. So Spawn, the director's cut on Laserdisc. Again something you just don't see and then he had this Dolph Lundgren Lewis Gossett Jr. I haven't seen this movie in a long time it is The Punisher man this was a good movie way back in the day that is so cool there we go that is awesome Again, it's just one of these things. I, I don't have a laser disc player, but it's it was too cool to pass up for the low price that they had on them. So I, I was like, I, I've got to get them. I've got to get them. He also had the old Captain America movie from, I think it was around 1980, maybe 79, 80, somewhere in that ballpark. He had a laser disc for that, and that was. Uh, he had $30 on that. I was like, yeah, it's a bit much for that. I don't need that. But these two, um, it was like 5 and $10. So I was like, you know what? If nothing else, the great, the really cool artwork and, and covers on them, that's cool. It, it's just something you don't see. Something else I, I just don't see. And I was like, you know what? One of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely love it. You, you can't see it. But right above me, right right back here, is the movie poster. It's not the original movie poster, but it is signed by Kevin Smith. I found this Mallrats uh, magazine. Um, and it's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's got notes and, and all kinds of things in there. So you guys can kind of yeah, get a little, little peek of some of the 
but behind the scenes things, you know, different stuff that was in the movies, uh, in the movie and all that stuff. So I was really, really happy when I saw this. I was like, I, I need that in my life. Because I, again, I love, love, love mall rats. So yeah. They are going to be at um, at GalaxyCon in Raleigh in a couple of weeks. It's the majority of the cast. And I, the amount that it's going to cost to meet them and everything, I'm just like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. But this would be so cool to have everybody sign. That would be amazing. It's like, you know what? It's not going to happen because I'm just not putting that much into it. But still, so awesome, awesome little book to find up there. It was, uh, he had 25 on it, but again, he gave us uh, really nice discounts on everything. And this came out in, gosh, what year did this come out in? Probably in the 90s? It's come out in 1995, 1995. Awesome, awesome to have. Now, the two uh, bigger books I picked up, and this one I didn't see until I was about ready to leave, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get this. It is Where Monsters Dwell. This is a retelling of the first appearance of Groot, uh, really nice copy. The cover's got a nice gloss to it. The back looks amazing. Um, I'm guessing six to seven in, in the grade on that. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. So that, that early uh, Groot. I have a first appearance of Rocket, so now I have an early Groot. Not the first appearance, but still... An awesome book to, to add to the collection. That is that is awesome to have. Very happy to add that to the collection. And the last book. This is a book that if I had uh, made a list of books that I really want to get this year, this would have been probably number one on that list. That Because I look at it as books that if I find, I, I should be able to afford list. Not just, you know, super grails that I can't afford. But this is one, I was like, I, I think I can get that one. Um, if I come across it, I think I can get it. And it is Batman Adventures number 16. This is the second run. It is A Wedding to Die For. Harley and Joker. Uh, you guys knew at some point I was probably going to have a Harley book. This is one that I did not have. Uh, I've got the entire first run of Batman Adventures. I do not have uh, this. To be honest with you, this might be the only issue I have from this run. And I really wanted it. Uh, I've been seeing it for a while. He's thinking, geez, I really want that book. I really want that book. Finally, it is in the collection. I'm going to be sending it off to get it graded. Um, it should be nine plus, uh, hopefully higher than that. I'll be sending this off to get graded. Hopefully, I'm hoping seven plus, but I'm, I'm being conservative and saying six plus on that. So sending both of those off, getting them graded. I can't wait. I'm gonna wait a, wait a little while so I can just enjoy this a little longer before I send it off to get graded. Very, very happy to be adding these two books to the collection. And of course, and of course this Mall Rats, <laughs> my favorite movie, maybe of all time, if not of all time, it's right there at the top of the list. So that is my haul today. Lots of fun stuff. Uh, Matrix, Nightmare on Elm Street, Mall Rats, uh, Harley and Joker, Groot, The Punisher, 
Um, what else was that over here? Uh, Spawn. All kinds of awesome things from all over the place. Baseball cards. Don't forget the baseball cards. It was a good day hanging out with the guys. Uh, the first road trip that I've taken with the guys and in a long, long time. So much fun. I've missed it so much. You're hanging out. You, you have that brotherhood with each other where you can rip each other and it's all good. You know, they can make fun of you. You can make fun of them. And it's and everyone laughs and has fun. So good times. Good times. <sighs> Feels good. Does feel good. But uh, that's all I got. And you guys have an incredible day.